100 Greatest Moments in Utah Basketball History. The Cinderella Kids, the greatest moment in 100 years of Utah basketball. 1944, Utah was invited to both the NIT and the NCAA tournaments. New York City won out over Kansas City, but Utah lost their first game in the NIT to Kentucky, but all was not lost. Coach Vadel Peterson told them that they could spend a couple of days seeing the big city before they went home, or he had a telegram from the NCAA inviting them to Kansas City and the Western sectional of the NCAA. They would replace Arkansas, who had to withdraw because of an automobile accident. Well, Arnie Farron, Watt Masaka, Herb Wilkinson, Fred Sheffield, Dick Smune, Bob Lewis, and Brother Fred knew that if they won in Kansas City, it would be back on the train to Madison Square Garden for the NCAA championship. They voted to play, <laughs> and play they did, beating Missouri and Iowa State. Then it was back to New York to play Dartmouth for the title. Freshman Arnie Farron had 22 points. Now it was tied 36 all at the end of regulation, but it was a wide open Herb Wilkinson with a set shot from today's three-point range, a second before the gun that gave the Utes the 42-40 overtime win and their first NCAA title in history. But the Cinderella story doesn't end here. Now they were invited to play the NIT champs, St. John's in a Red Cross benefit game for the combined national championship. Some said mythical national championship. Well, the glass slipper fit perfectly. Farron had 17, Wilkinson 11, and Utah won 43 to 36. And all that was left was the ticker tape parade, not in the Big Apple, back home in Salt Lake City.